Welcome back to Deponia, the complete journey. So we left off at the town center, and there goes Rufus again, stretching, getting bored. <laughs> so we are trying to go see the mayor in order to see if we could get uh, him to have go stay with us, I suppose. So let's see, we talked to Wenzel yesterday. And Looks which... like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, well, well. Look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet... Here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh. But my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. <laughs> I'm kind of curious how they got together in the first place. Let's see. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> first and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh. Uh, she's uh she's not kidding with uh he's very full himself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh nothing. <laughs> I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh! I kind of feel bad for Tony, actually. I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hats off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Oh! That was good. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. Hey, oh, I think she's still pretty nice. I thought she said she like wasn't going to give him the key, but he kind of got hurt just pretty recently, right? Through that whole escape plan. Let's see. Uh, I think we have to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. I wonder what to, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, wow, we could, can we grind something? Can we grab magnet maybe? <laughs> Why not? That's just, uh. I'm more attractive. Nope, that doesn't work. No. Weights? Anchors, metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. What is moored? Hmm. Stuff, stuff, okay. More stuff. Weights, anchors, Same metal thing. boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. Alright, it's the same thing. Oh, hook here. Hands off. My stuff! What? I'm just browsing. Browsing is what paying customers do. What you mean is driving me nuts! <laughs> Weights, anchors, metal boots... Okay, that's the same thing. 
skip. Huh, I guess nothing we could use here. Brochures, huh? Only it seems to be a bad move. <laughs> I can't blame blame her though. Seems like everybody don't like Rufus very much. I'm sorry, Rufus, but <laughs> yeah, does that be more nicer to people? I guess. Hey, let's see. Um, hmm. Water reserve. Oh, let me just see what what this looks like when we go to Tony's house. Oh, he does come out this way. Wow, that other guy is gone. Okay. Uh, we try the phone. See what else can we? Well, let's go and head over to the obvious. Uh, what a reason. What is this? Alley? Hmm. We need some way to get in the line. I'm guessing the line, the people are still waiting there, maybe. Because the Wednesday was holding up the line. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the guy again. And Nick. Hear it. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. That's a smart bird. The bar. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh, Rufus. Exactly. <laughs> He's still the same. Let's see. Oh, let's try this. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. <laughs> Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Uh, you know the parrot's still there, right? Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. I actually, we're the one that took it. We're the joker. <laughs> okay, uh... How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then, he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, I knew it. How is blowing things up not exciting, dude? Let's see. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk. And so, pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Oh, wow, man. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? <laughs> it would be funny if I used another name here. Rufus? Let me think. Rufus. 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 No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. That might take me a little bit to remember names too, actually. How about for you? <laughs> hey, the boy.
Ah, Rufus. I thought you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I'd planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Lonzo. Oh, wow, we took his dot. <laughs> okay. See what else we got. Can we take the face? Sign. We're just coming here grabbing everything. Rufus. This is so funny. Red con. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. Lonzo. Yeah. Oh. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. I <laughs> like Lonzo. He's so funny. Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a fraud. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. You won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. I should have picked this one first, huh? Long time no see, Lonzo. A long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. I have to go. Adventure awaits. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I kind of want to know what the developers say about this area here. Lonzo Spa. It's quite an interesting room content-wise. As a matter of fact, we rarely had moments, uh, neither in A New Beginning or Wizard World or The Breakout, where the protagonist could feel at home in his environment. Okay, there was Sadwick in the beginning of Whispered World, he had a trailer, but you leave that behind within the first two screens. And in addition, uh, it's a traveling circus, so even Sadwick's environment isn't a familiar one for him. Edna, on the other hand, has no memory, and so she's in a complete unfamiliar place. And in a new beginning, of course, we have Bent alone in his house at the fjord, and he immediately has to leave. Uh, but here we can explore Rufus' very own turf uh, along with him. Uh, this way we can get character information uh, between the lines uh, through casual dialogue. What I found most interesting was that there are actually people who still tolerate Rufus' company, uh, and Lonzo is among them. <laughs> Despite the fact that Rufus is of course a load of trouble, uh, and Lonzo is clearly annoyed by them, uh, he still looks at it from a humorous point of view. There's a certain tongue-in-cheek attitude between those two. Uh, it's this talk where you get how both of them, uh, and Ventil for that matter, roll.
And of course, the synergy shines also through when talking to Tony. The, uh, he even uh, kind of reflects to that. Um, it diminishes a bit later in the game, but it's solidly established nonetheless, which is quite remarkable. I mean, uh, characters like Lonzo, Tony, Venzo, uh, those were characters I wrote really early. Uh, Ogismo or Mayor Lotek, um, they react in a way to Rufus uh, as they can anticipate uh, when he actually listens or when he just zones out so they can throw all kind of stuff at him without any consequences. It's this subliminal love-hate relationship with Rufus this permanent awful struggle to educate him about something while all you want to do is just to resign. Uh, that's something that came quite naturally while writing uh, to these characters. Um, I never consciously realized that uh, it's kind of a logic consequence to the development having to endure Rufus over a long period of time. In the course of the trilogy, Rufus will meet a lot of characters, and funny thing is, most of them will react, or at least will tend more and more to react, just like his old peers from Kuvak uh, towards him, like Lonzo or Tony. They grow very similar to his old relationships, and that's quite exciting how all that comes together. It plays out quite well. The screen also deserves a comment uh, for the featured music, and that's because uh, this is the first screen not composed by Finn from Periscope, but uh, it's in fact uh, a snippet of a song I recorded for a friend of mine. Uh, by request, I uploaded it to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Dünnes Eis, <laughs> which is German for thin ice, and the riff nicely fits into the scene. After we finished production, I forgot the damn pub song we wanted. Uh, we have a pub in almost every game, and only in the end I remember that. Uh, same thing with Harvey's New Eyes, um, and then again with Chaos on Deponia. I just tend to forget the odd pub song. You can't just reuse some uh, other track there. You need something unique in the bar, uh, to, to create this pub uh, atmosphere. And that's why I decided to put that part of my track in there. Thank God we did fine with Goodbye Deponia. We uh, uh, composed a song, or Finn composed a song for Goodbye Deponia for the pub scene. But to be honest, one week after the release, I woke up in a state of mild panic written by one thought. It really happened. I said, oh crap, we forgot to include that pub song. <laughs> Gladly we didn't. It only got used that one time in the sewers in from Good by the Pony, but we definitely included it. Just seems like I have developed kind of a deeply rooted phobia of forgetting a, a, a pop song, a pop song amnesophobia or something like uh, since uh, Harvey's New Eyes and Chaos on the Pony really gave me nightmares. Luckily, there's that 8 bit song, great one too, uh, in Good by the Pony, oh. but we'll get there until then stay tuned okay be honest guys how many of you skipped that part comment below let me know how many of you actually watched the drew i watched the drew because i wanted to include it for you <laughs> i was long though oh wow okay let's see uh I think we're about done here. I feel like there's really not much else I can click on. Take. <laughs> yeah, too bad. I can't have the music on to hear the song. Um, I think it would be interesting, maybe. Emergency stage. Oh, there's a lot to go. Then nation plan. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hanek how this all works. Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. So, hold on, we have some magnets though. Can we... Oh wow, look at this! Oh, well, you know, okay. oh, interesting. Let me just let me see this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. I really enjoy this. Detonate explosive. Hmm. Back going and mark the one that's marked on here, maybe? So we have one here, which we did. There's one here and one there. Oops. So that was one here. I'm just kind of going by this right now just to see what happens. And one here. Interesting. I thought I would put one here because that's Renzo's house since we're trying to get his stuff, I guess. <laughs> we'll get our stuff. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! So what happened? Did it go off? We gotta go check where Wenzo. Maybe something happened at his house now. Huh? The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear power propelled satellite could crash into Kuvak, or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? <laughs> right on. Let's go back and check on Winslow, see if that changed anything. Oh, are they still blasting it? Maybe I'll go here while they are. Uh, Huh, it's just alarming everywhere now. Oh. Oh, the water went in here. Is that water? Does that look very clean? Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> that didn't do too much, I feel. Oh wow, I wonder when the buzzing gonna stop. Try this one more time. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go to Wenzel's house. I don't think that blasting gonna stop anytime soon. Oh my. I think this could get kind of unpleasant after a while. <laughs> Am I supposed to... Maybe I'm supposed to ring the bell one more time. Okay, let's go back here. Well, hold on, since we're here already. Oh, that's not the sound. Hey, Wenzel, what's up? I want my heirloom back. A deal is a deal. Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? And friends stay true to their word. Oh, yeah? And that's written down where exactly? Just forget it. Later. Exactly. Alright. Does... Where would the sign be used for? And the dot. Hmm. I... Saw him? <laughs> but no, there are people who deserve that more than him. Really? You think so? Right now? <laughs> um. Wow. Oh wait, I gotta put that away. Right, I'm gonna go back to um. Oh, the alarm is off now. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we we'll go back to the town hall. I still feel like there's something we need to do with Wenzel though.
So that was still waiting. I took the magnet. <laughs> oh, I could just maybe walk right in. Oh, wow. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Look at that guy. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Goal. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, Knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Enough. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. <laughs> Oh, I think we did something right. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is all this? Elbow drew the waiting line. Okay. Convince Winslow to stop blocking the line. Give Winslow a stun talking to. That we kind of did, and we talked to the man. Oh, look, this, this is mock off now. Oh, come up with a plan to brew the ultimate stimulant. Oh, I look at this. <laughs> I, I like the picture you drew there. Brew the stimulant. Oh no, so we missed the chance to go this way? Elbow drew the waiting line? Wait, wait. I feel like we kind of did that. Hmm, okay. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Hey, goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. I believe that. <laughs> Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. <laughs> I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. We need to make some coffee then? 
Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. I guess we have to go to his office then. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But no. Bummer. <laughs> I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Hmm. Maybe, uh... Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. <laughs> That's so funny. Robbery! Impossible! My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person. And that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. <laughs> I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. So much for that. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Okay, what else can we do? I think we asked that already. Uh, I think that's about it. We help her. Well, well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Not literally. Let's see what else is in the room here. Door now. Oh. What is uh what does that do? Arbo box. The balloons seem to have been stored here for quite a while. I wonder what occasion they're meant for. And why my face is on some of them. Oh, nice. We got some balloon. See what else is in here? You know, can I use some of the thing we have? Let me see if I could use some of the things we already have. Maybe this will help wake her up. Um. Focus, Rufus. She can still help you with your experiments once she's awake. Bearman. Focus, Rufus. She can still help. Hey, that's not it. Focus, Rufus. She can. Nope. <laughs> I'm just trying everything. Focus, Rufus. Nope. Nah, it can't be. Watch that be the. Oh, oh no, no, no. Run, run. <laughs> Or should that be the way to wake up? That would be so funny. Alright, I guess we're out of here. Oh, nope. Nothing there. Where's this room go? Stop right there! Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with gold. In that case, you're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office! And access is strictly by numbers only. So draw a number or bugger off. Okay. What's up? Stop right there. The post office. <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open. But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... GET AWAY FROM THAT DOOR! Oh my. Let's take a look at the this The post again. office will be open... O'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Alright, okay. So that's the same. Hmm. Let's go. Let's get 
Interesting. We got a plane again. I know we gotta make the stimulant, so we probably need some parts for that. Only part I can think of is back at Tony's house where we used to clean the socks. <laughs> um, the doctor said his office has some more stimulant too, though. Well, I think I will start the part here, and when we come back, we will try to make that stimulus and see if we could help go. Um, thank you so much for watching. All your support, you are amazing. If you enjoyed this, be sure to click on the button below to thumb up, subscribe for new video, and share. Until next time, keep on playing, and I will see you soon.